Hello and welcome to the expert course in easy design. In this third course, we're going to go through some more advanced ways to draw your floor plan. Look at certain tools that can make it very detailed. We will also look at additional ways that you can present your floor plan, such as, for example, walkthrough video. All right, so let's start. We will first head over to something we called custom objects, the custom objects tab. And in this sample, I've started up with a fitness floor plan. It's just one big area here. And now that we're in the custom object tab, I will go through each individual custom object tool that's available. And the first one is called custom floor. And to start off, I'm going to use the custom floor to create just a square here with a different floor. So currently we have a wood floor here, but I want a different type of flooring in the middle here. So the way I do that is I simply click on custom floor, move into my floor plan, left mouse click wherever I want to start, and I add a second node over here, move, click again, you see a third node, and a fourth time, close it up. There we go. You see a green zone here, and I can readjust this any way I would like. If I had more nodes, I could have created a more complex surface, but this will be just fine for this sample. We'll make it a little bit shorter like this. And when it's active, I can click on it, and you'll see, as we already do here, an object property menu on my right side. The first two options, altitude and thickness, we're not going to worry about that yet. We're going to come to that in a later lesson. For now, I'm simply going to select floor material. And that will open up uh, the familiar floor material menu here. And I can go in and select any type of floor that I would like. I'm just going to select a color for this option. So I'm going to select a dark gray color, one of the most recent ones I've been using, and click Use. There we go. Now I've changed to a new type of floor material here. And I can go into 3D and see what this looks like. Here we go. The scene is building up. And you see that new floor section that I've just created. So it's actually pretty simple to add additional uh, f custom floor options. I do see a lot of people create a room around this and then select to hide all the walls. You can do so, but really this is a much easier way and it doesn't affect the main room structure. You get the correct square meter and so on. We'll close that. Then below we have four different floor shapes. They work similar to custom floor, it's just that they are fixed shapes that we just can stretch and change the dimensions for. So let's start with the big square. I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag it out. And we see a big square like that. And then I can grab a hold of each end. You see we have a blue node there and stretch this out. I can even hold down on the line itself and readjust it the way I would like. And then go in and select floor material from the object menu, from the object property menu. Let's select the carpet this time. Use. There we go. A similar result, just a little bit different floor there. So it's building up so we can see it. Here we go. Looks good. We can close. If I want to remove any object, if you remember, click on the object. And in this case, it's a custom object. Press delete and it goes away. I'll drag out the other shapes so you can see those. And of course, you can adjust the dimension for this and select the material. You can even choose to combine these shapes together. So if I drag out another circle next to it, like this, it will say, do I want to combine the shapes? If I say yes now, that becomes one shape and I can go in and select the material for this option. So we'll do that as well. Carpet, there we go, perfect. So you can create very advanced floor shapes here. 